Do you know the relationship between diabetes mellitus and bone health? It is well known that diabetes is a chronic metabolic disease causing high blood glucose. However, would you connect diabetes with a bone fracture? Most likely you wouldn't put a link here, yet there is a higher fracture risk for diabetic patients. But the question of how diabetes weakens our bones is not entirely understood. The human skeleton maintains its strength by constant regeneration through the remodeling process, which is controlled by osteocytes. These special cells can sense and respond to mechanical forces and activate bone-resorbing osteoclasts and bone-forming osteoblasts. Another exciting feature is that osteocytes create an extensive communication network called Lacuno Canaliculi Network. Thanks to this network, osteocytes can detect changes in bone structure and control the removal of old or damaged bone. In diabetic bone, is the remodeling process often imbalanced? One of the diabetic effects on bone vitality is the early osteocyte cell death. When there is a higher proportion of dead osteocytes, the communication is corrupted. Then osteocytes cannot maintain a proper remodeling process, which can be one of the reasons for weaker bone in diabetes mellitus. This means that osteocytes are very important in diabetic bone disease. My laboratory is in Hamburg, Germany, where I am studying several changes in osteocytes and how these changes affect bone quality and fracture resistance. The overall goal is to uncover the underlying mechanism of diabetic bone disease and help improve the diagnosis and prevention of fractures in diabetic patients.